Welcome back, all you cool cats, to 69.96 Dish Review. Tonight, this will be the final. It's been a ride. It's been fun. Watching Boris Nash and Peggy save this town and save this city. But as all good stories and radio shows, it all has to come to an end. So, as always, sit back, relax, and let's get right on to the show. Yeah! And with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Damn straight! Saved lives! I'm counting two well, up... After oh, all that excitement, I think we could use some music. Like what? Come back upstairs when you're ready. God. Okay, thank you. Hell yeah! I'm raising that up by either one or two, depending on how petty I feel. But I'm probably just gonna do one. Cause hell yeah, we saved a life. At least that's more than, you know, my dead and my heartbrokens. Anyways. All right, what music shall we put on today? Stab in the night, why the fuck not? That made sense. You're gonna love this next track. It's getting pretty late. This might yeah, be your last break it? for the night, so try to enjoy it. Give me a buzz when you wanna go back on air. I don't know, I don't know about the breakings, but I got nothing else to do. You got it. But we've got another call coming through, too. All right. It's time to turn the music off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Oh, we have another call coming in. You said but... that. Hang on. What's up, Peggy? 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 You're going to want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Why? Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. Okay, like that was helpful, we'll right but back. I don't know why. I, uh, <sighs> I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Okay, damn. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Leslie! Sounds like it's been a busy night. It has! Surprise, it's Leslie. Leslie, I've done horribly. <laughs> charge from Henderson I've done a really bad job so I can't how I, I think how many okay? people are dead on my watch doing okay. five Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home we're happy to have you too I... wait Sara? oh yeah I mean Deputy Martinez <laughs> anyway we got back into radio range a little while ago we've been listening in but haven't been able to get through until now Yee, so you heard all that? It's been a long night, so help is on the way? It's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. Thank God. I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards Gallows Creek as we speak. Yes. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines. They had no idea what was happening. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he... How she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Okay, uh, we haven't, uh, haven't we helped enough? Or what do we need to do? You can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in. Okay. So once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end the That's night. good enough. That's a good way to... Uh, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I hope so. I know you will. Oh, yeah. And I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. And has killed anyway, five people. I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Uh-huh. Take care now. 
We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, let's get back on air. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Best I, we don't waste whatever, time, hope. Then. Let's get back on air. Hope is the fool's it. wish, but who cares? Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh yeah, I forgot. Bringing you back live now. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say, things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Harris. John! I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. John! Is, is he going to be okay? He's a fighter. Damn straight! We've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then... God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Yeah, please don't. Of course, you know, Let Casey. me bask in his glory for a minute. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Jason! Is this Forrest? Yeah, it's me! It's me! Uh, the one and only! The one and only? I hope you're feeling better. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach. Ah, uh, yeah, no we all. There's a knife in my leg. Uh-huh, okay. John gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, good jokes, good jokes. Yeah, stay alive, stop coughing. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, before that, I I needed to call you. I'm guessing the Whistling Man is still out there? Yep. 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 As far as we know, anyway. Well, I was worried you'd say that. God damn it. Actually, I'm glad you called. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Go for it. Casey said when you were attacked, your assailant said something like, It's not so funny now. Do you know what they meant? I do. And I've heard that voice every day in my head for almost 20 years. Every day? Okay, Does the damn. killer live in Gallows Creek? No. Not exactly. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Forrest, have you ever heard of somebody called George Barrel? Apparently, the yeah. Boy who drowned? Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail. A long time. It was hell. And I feel like I know what's going on here. Is the on. whistling man like he never existed? Woman. So. So your friend George died. Yet the only twist that I can think is that the whistling man woman is George's mother. So. What happened? That I'm pretty night? sure that's the I big twist. I went along with the stupid prank. That's what. Whistling night. Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods and have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. The party that night, I left the group for a second, met our whistling man, pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone, started an almighty panic, those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Her? Yeah. George's girl. Do you remember oh, who she was? Oh, it's the girlfriend, yeah. not the mother! He called her. What a twist! Me. Double twist! I heard her again tonight, Forrest. 
Her name was What? The power! What happened? Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Seems like the power is completely gone. Don't make How me go out there, get it Peggy! Back on? I don't uh Oh, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Of course, in the basement. We picked it up a while ago in case we ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack. That's not helpful. Broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare. Got it. Fair point. It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. Storage area, far back corner, up on the wall. Digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. Oh, see you when you're back. Got it. Got it. Storage area, far back corner, all the way up on the wall. I'm pretty sure I passed by that. Alright, well, this is gonna be... joyous. Now the fucking cereal... the thing, the whispering woman... is gonna be here, up on my as testicle ass. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Alright. <sighs> Far back corner. Far back corner. Why so, is this station so big? I don't know. It's like it's a radio station. Whoa, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What is this? Alright. That. Alright, well, I'm guessing this is it. Boom! We've got power. Boom! Power! Oh, whistling woman! You're not gonna get my I balls whistle. tonight! I need to warn Peggy. Peggy! Peggy! He's coming, Peggy! Peggy! Are you there? Are you. Peggy! Peggy! I need to get back upstairs. Peggy! Peggy! I'm coming, Peggy! Peggy! I'm coming, but I'm scared! I'm coming, Peggy! Don't worry, Peggy! I'm on my way, Peggy! Oh, no. Peggy, no! Peggy, where'd you go? Peggy! Oh! No, you bitch oh, ass! No way. No! This can't be happening. You dickhead bitch ass nigga! You think you're funny? What do you want? A, a call. What do you want? Where's Peggy, Where's you Peggy bitch? Going? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. Peggy, where you at, you bitch? The whole time still. So let's make the most of it. I'd rather not. I'd rather not if that's okay. <laughs> oh, Forrest. Huh? I hey. thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. Why? The one who started it all. Oh. Uh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Chatty. Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Oh, wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you wait, then. years ago. But even if he crawled out of the who the fuck are you? Money in the world. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. What? If he says we're There's two! Well, he knows he'll get it. You're here. But I can see you. you. You're standing right in front of me. Oh, I get it. You're wondering who's there at the station with you. Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. Henry? This is a lot. I'm sorry. Henry this, Barrow? This is a lot to take in. You've got no idea. I thought Henry died. No, that was the other guy. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. Hang on. Did you 
same barrel? That are you? Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. Okay. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. There we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? George is old girl. Oh. Well, huh. it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, Ow. God damn it. Uh, bye, Teddy. Not, uh, not Dawn, huh? What's going on? I need to stall. Marie Campbell. So, not Dawn, huh? No, not Dawn. What are you? I have to stall, to right? Uh, Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. Killed George that night. This night, twenty years ago. Listen to me. You. Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. Damn, niggas Not getting bitched right him. now. I never liked him, but damn. I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Okay, I'm really just fucking around here. Um, I'll do it. Uh, why should I? Why should I help you? Why should I help you? Why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. I do? You, you killed niggas! Justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. I don't, but where's Peggy? These people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I said you speak when you're spoken to. You're getting bitch slapped. <sighs> Holy shit. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. Damn. And that's why I want you to interview us. Uh, if I, if you say so, are you serious? Are you serious? You, you want me to interview you? Am I serious? Yeah. After everything tonight, you really have to ask me if I'm serious. Okay. Uh, Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. No! Where's Peggy? <laughs> Peggy, no! I don't give a shit for that guy, I but I out. give a shit for Peggy. If Peggy was on my kill count, I wouldn't know what to do. To Gallows Creek. And if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Hit him, Marie. Hit him again, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I don't like you, so why not? God damn it. Okay. Violence is the best way to get anything Our out of anyone. Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Whistling night, right? Mooney, okay, tell me why that night. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. We couldn't pass it up. I was just surprised no one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God, who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. I looked up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man, <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. Wait, Ricky was there? Roller Ricky? Ricky? He was, and he was in on the whole thing. But yeah, you killed my boy. Is that true, Teddy? Did you tell him? What? No, he. Damn. Uh, oh. You too. As close as anybody. I don't believe for a second you didn't tell him. 
But he was so reformed. He just told us. He and George would both be alive still. Hmm. Well, if Ricky weren't dead, we could have heard his side of the story. It was just a stupid prank. Hit him again! Hit again, Marie. Oh, God wait! Stop, wait, hold on. All right, all right okay. Okay, I'm so not gonna tell you to hit him. No more hitting. So I, I need him alive. Oh, my for real. live counter up. The role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Oh. Have the good sense to die earlier. Mm. He's gonna regret that. Enough about him. Me and George took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point, and when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me, I scream, and he starts laughing. I can stall for time here. How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small and confused. Okay. And... Who was under the mask, Marie? Who was the whistling man? It was Chuck. Chuck Brody. Mm. Laughing away, but then he stops and he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> okay, so, don't cry. I can't stand weakness. Next? Nothing. I mean, it was just Teddy. George fell off Whistling Point. Why'd he fall? Why'd he fall, Teddy? He just... You pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the Whistling Man, too, and... I didn't push him, goddammit! I just chased him up there, and... He kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he'd had any brains, he would have realized. Damn. Ugh, you bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all you did. Um, then why the cover up? Even if you didn't push him. Even if you didn't push him, you still chased him to his death. I can't be blamed. For someone not getting a joke. I I don't oh. know. I'm kind of stumped on it. Disagree. But if you really felt that way, why the cover up? My future was at stake, Ash. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for bigger things. I'm going to be the mayor of this town, Morris, and then governor, and then. Who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should So he was like the cleanup man? My future. George was a blip? Uh, he wasn't a blip. He wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but... You never found his body, Marie? I looked all night. Jogger found him the next morning, washed up on the river. Instead of telling the truth, she lied. She said she found him in the reservoir. Our jazz runner, Sandra Sharp. Oof. Guess we'll never learn why she lied now. No, we'll and never learn was why. in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. He said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And... I saw. I'm... I'm sorry. 
For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even... even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. But no, that coward killed the story. Damn. But Maurice Russell is dead now. Uh, you've been through hell. This has to stop. When will the killing end? When will the killing end, Marie? End? When does it end? Yeah. You can't kill the world. This has to stop sometime. It has to. It never should have Damn. started. I shouldn't have pushed my door to work. I should have been punished. But it's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here. George and I first met before he joined the football team. It was right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Football field. You're at the football field. Jesus Christ. Forrest, you idiot. We're oh. in the gym at Gallows Creek High. Sorry. I told you not to do that. Oh, Wait. hello. <laughs> oh, he's dead. He's dead too now isn't he yes he damn it anyway i think that about wraps up the interview with Ted. that sounded like a football reference so, marie where peggy no peggy 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 it's been so long since peggy peggy I'm worried you wouldn't come and here i was you fuckers you forgot me I'd never forget my own sister. Oh, the plot thickens even more. <laughs> sister? Peggy, wh what's happening? Why are you even there? want to explain, Peggy. Peggy, don't tell Earlier, me. Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Yeah. Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. Okay that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out that my sister is the whistling man. The plot thickens! Even more! How thick is this plot? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. Hey, well, they were kind of right. If I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. I wouldn't come with you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I'd been. So sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well. Damn. I'll have to settle for the next best thing. No! Peggy! Don't! Don't. Marie? Don't do me. Peggy like I that! Don't have to do this. Someone has to pay for what they Not do. Peggy! Oh, kill yourself please. then! Mom and dad are gone. Peggy. No! You dick bitches! Son. Don't do this! Just like the rest. No, not Peggy! You forgot. Marie! No, Peggy, don't do it! Not about you. Keep your mouth no, shut. No, please! She I'll suck dick! Metaphorically she, speaking! She here on her desk. What card? Uh, uh, the card! 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 My eighth birthday. Yes! This thing! Um, good. Uh, what does it say then? Uh, Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. Yeah, that! I Says that. Well, I, Says that. I never forgot you. Have a ha, have a realization. Uh, no one's gonna forget now. No. <laughs> no. Peggy. <laughs> Peggy. No. <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> what happening? <laughs> oh. 
What? <gasps> Peggy! Henry, kill him. No, Peggy! No! No, don't do it! No, don't do it! Wait, 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 I still got- Wait, no, don't do it! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, I got a pot of coffee! I got a pot of empty coffee! I don't- You, you, you can't do this shit to me! I will brew up a hot piece of coffee and smack your fucking face on it! Come in here! Face me like a man! Face hey, me! You don't have to do this. Face me! There's still time to make the right decision. Come on! You bitch! Henry, get out of there! Get over here! You killed Peggy, you bitch! Henderson police! Freeze! What the fuck? It's not safe. Forrest. Leslie? Leslie! How's Peggy? She. No. Oh my god. No, please! Peggy. Don't tell me! Where's Marie? Don't tell me god. Peggy's dead! Bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. No. It won't be long now. No, please. It's over, Forrest. Please, not Peggy. No. No. No, not Peggy. Anyone but Peggy, no. Oh my god. No! Peggy! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> no! Come in. One suspect is in custody. Trail the other suspect into the nearby woods. Peggy! So many dead! Holy shit! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Alright, well, I don't know if the kill count it's made it up there, frequency. but shut the fuck up! Alright, well, that's a lot of dead. That's a lot of people fucking dead, and I failed Peggy. I failed you, Peggy. Oh. Alright, well... I don't know. Alright. Open door to skip credits. So... I have... I, I, I have failed. I have failed. I have failed above all the people that I've let die. Peggy... God damn it! <sighs> All right, well, that was it. That was Killer Frequency. And the, I, I will have my revenge. On, on God's name, I will come back to this fucking game. I don't know when. I don't know when I'm coming back to this game. But on God's name, I will avenge Peggy's life! I will avenge everyone's life! Not a single person will die on my watch when I come back to this fucking game. But god damn it. God fucking damn it. Well, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. It's the end of... Damn, it still sucks. It still sucks. This game was great. This game was so elaborate. So many plot twists. So many plot twists in this fucking game. But fucking shit. I'll do it. Next time, next time, for sure, I will be the best goddamn savior this town has ever seen. But yet, that is it. Anyways, yeah, that's it, you know. Goodbye, play all out. As, as what this video has shown, don't trust your family, don't trust anyone, actually. And your petty bitch of a sibling is probably gonna kill you for something that you didn't do. But yeah, you know. Keep going. Lay him out while I mourn my losses on the internet.
just like me.